Las Vegas on this rainy Wednesday morning. I'm Jackie Costa and I'm Marissa Keniston. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We want to get right over to Justin Bruce with a look at our weather because it has been raining for the better part of the night and morning. Justin. Yeah, a lot of the rain that we had last night uh, across the valley was light to moderate, uh, but the rain that we've been dealing with for the last hour and a half has been on the heavy side. So let me zoom into the Las Vegas Valley and show you that it is currently raining in just about all of our neighborhoods, and these are some moderate to occasionally heavy downpours. Uh, we've got wet weather stretching from the north end of town along the 215 all the way down to the south end along that part of the beltway. Here's a broader perspective, still more often on showers back toward the California state line along the 15. This is all moisture that's set its sights toward the valley, so often on showers are going to be a part of our Wednesday morning commute. Futurecast, our computer model, says, yeah, a little off and on rain, uh, certainly a good call this morning. Another round of potentially heavier downpours could get going midday into the afternoon. Our 13 hour forecast, it's cool. Not only is it soaked, but we're in the 50s outside, a little breezy this morning. Now we're not expecting temperatures to get much past the upper 50s this afternoon as a stray shower or thunder shower still in the forecast. Then reporter Sean Delancey, he's outside, but you're inside the car at the very least, my friend. You've been all over town. You've had no problem finding rain this morning. Uh, no problem whatsoever, Justin. And right now in the southwest portion of the valley by Durango and Blue Diamond, the rain has tapered off to just about a sprinkle at the moment. But this doesn't mean that the roads are entirely safe to drive on. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. You can still see that there is a thin layer of moisture sitting on top of the roadway. And we do have some areas where it is standing water. And that is arguably more dangerous than having a lot of heavy rain coming down because you may not expect to hit those slick spots on the roadway. Now, we haven't seen rain in about two months in the valley, so it really is a good time to remember how this works. The National Weather Service says that without rain, dust, dirt, and oils will build up on the roadway. Now, rain will turn that into a slick film, so it could take you up to twice as long to stop when you hit the brakes. That's why it's important to give yourself extra time to get wherever you're going this morning so that you can follow the speed limit and not tailgate other cars. That is a big key this morning. Highway Patrol says that you should always have your lights on in the rain so everyone else can see you and this is also a good time to check and make sure that your windshield wipers are working and that after months of dry weather here and maybe most important high water is nothing to mess with so do not drive through any floodwaters that really can turn deadly fast NHP says that there are three times as many accidents in the valley when it rains as there is in dry weather so if you follow these safety tips you can avoid being one of the many crashes that we have seen this morning. Now, Marissa Keniston has been following these accidents all morning long. We have seen several of them. She's back in the studio keeping an eye on these. Marissa, what are we looking at right now? Yeah, so like Sean said, uh, we see about three times the amount of crashes here in the valley when it rains, and that's exactly what I'm seeing this morning. Southern Beltway, a little bit of a mess this morning. Three crashes on the 215 just between Decatur and Rainbow. I want to focus on one of those crashes. This one, uh, uh, traffic moving in the eastbound direction. You can see that slow down there. That crash all pushed over to the side near Decatur, but you are going to see a slowdown on the Southern Beltway this morning because of several crashes. Another one in the Spaghetti Bowl, 95 South near 15, a little bit further north, 15 North near Cheyenne, seeing a crash there as well. That crash blocking the right lanes. All those cars coming from the Cheyenne entrance having to merge real quick and get over. So very, don't forget very slick conditions out there as you make your way on your morning commute. If you're driving through the resort corridor this morning, give yourself a couple extra minutes. Average speed just 48 miles an hour in the southbound direction. All right, Marissa.